Hey guys and welcome to another video. We want to thank you all very much for the support in our previous videos and before we reach the end of the week we wanted to make another video talking about the issues with cyberpunk and looking at some new information because we still feel very cheated with the versions for the last generation console. But before continuing, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss anything we've prepared for you about cyberpunk 2077 and many more games. The whole Zoom and Games team keeps asking ourselves why the hell did CD Projekt Red release Cyberpunk 2077 on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, knowing that it was a version of the game that was not even 10% similar to all the footage that they've been presenting. They really pushed the point that the game was ready on all platforms, PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC included. The PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X did not even exist when they started developing the game. So why on earth didn't they optimize it for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox? We know, as many of you said in the previous video, that on PC it looks pretty good, even on a normal one. But for those of us who have to play it on the PlayStation 4, it's the worst experience we've had in a long, long time. So much so that we had to stop playing it until they released the fat patches that they're going to prepare because the technical problems make it practically unplayable. And they make us desperate, even more than playing ranked in League of Legends. It seems that we'll have to wait until January or February before we can play any decent version of the game. Which is when they said they would release those big patches. But in the statement they released they said if you're impatient and don't want to wait for those patches, you can always request a refund from Sony or Xbox if you bought it digitally and in the stores if you have it in physical format. But hold on now, here comes the great news. It turns out that neither Sony nor Microsoft are returning any money because of their policy, which is if you've already downloaded the game, they will not refund your money. Obviously, CDPR just put that out there without checking with Sony or Microsoft. Not great PR management guys. CD Projekt Red can't try to come across as the good guys in the statement and then be all not our problem if they don't want to refund you. CD Projekt Red, it doesn't work like that. We are adding some breaking news here because it appears that Sony has indeed taken action and will be removing Cyberpunk 2077 from the PlayStation Store until further notice. In addition, they've also promised to give a refund to everyone who bought it in the PlayStation Digital Store through a link that you can easily find on the internet. And if you cannot find it, we'll leave it down below in the comments. Massive credit to Sony and we take back what we said earlier in the video, although we still haven't heard from Microsoft. Now, Many of you may not realize it, but this is huge. A highly anticipated game like this will be removed until further notice from one of the most important digital game stores in the world. In the end guys, it seems that as they said, Cyberpunk 2077 did revolutionize the genre of video games. We all know that CD Projekt Red is one of the biggest video game companies in the world, or at least that is what we believed. But the passing of the buck between them, Sony and Microsoft with the issue of returns is something that really winds us up. It seems that the Polish company is really trying to throw all the goodwill it built up over the years in just one week. Many of you will say that we are the more foolish ones for buying something that we knew wasn't finished. But we don't think that this is a fair point. Something that is released is supposed to be finished. If I go into a cinema to see a premiere of a movie, it's because it's complete. Not to see, for example, Star Wars without special effects and on a green screen. And then two months later, the version that does include them will arrive. It doesn't make any sense, does it? Well, it's the same here. It cannot be that the game looks good on PC with good features as well as on PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, when from the beginning you announced it for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And there are mobile games that have much better graphics than this. Hopefully this is a moment that is a before and after in the industry and that we as players finally realize that it's wrong to pre-order a game without having seen any real gameplay. And also, that the console makers can get their acts together to protect their customers from this type of situation in the future. Whether that is having solid Q&A guidelines and penalties as well as clearer return policies so that we as the players aren't losing money from unplayable releases. But this is not all. With everything that's happening, one of the founders of CDPR has the brass balls to say that the next gen version of Cyberpunk 2077 will take advantage of all the technical possibilities of the consoles. Please, we need someone to tell him just fix all the problems you have now and then we can talk about what will happen to the game in the next generation of consoles. Which by the way, are still not even in 5% of homes. It is the last gen console players that are your main audience right now. Maybe it would be better 
if they talked a little bit more about the super empty world they created, the lack of content and the AI, which are the issues right now, I think we all agree, matter more than how the game will look in the next generation. But as we said, we continue to trust CD Projekt Red, who continue to ask us to give them room for improvement, and in March, we will have a great game, which has all the potential for it. And this underwhelming start will just be a distant memory. We really hope this is the case, because can you imagine if the same thing happens with the launch of The Witcher 4? It would already be incredible. Yes, they still did not say anything, but what they confirmed months ago was that they were going to get serious with The Witcher 4 when they finished Cyberpunk 2077. So it seems that they have two hard months left to fix this catastrophe and then return with the adventures of Geralt of Rivia. Have you played Cyberpunk 2077 and is this the same thing that's happening to you? What is it looking like for you? Are you lucky to be enjoying it because you have a sweet PC setup? We need to continue doing therapy, so don't be shy and tell us in the comments what you think. Thank you all very much for being here another day. That's all for today folks, and we'll catch you on the next one. Sweet dreams then.